Mike from Silex Music in Morris, Minnesota. And I'm here today to show you a little bit about the Magna Helix machine that we use in the shop. What it does is it tests the compression in the valve, see if there's any leakage around the metal from the piston and the, between the piston and the casing. So what we do is we can turn it on and it checks if there's a vacuum seal. So if I was to plug the hose, it goes all the way down to zero. That's a perfect seal. Now, if there's a leak in the instrument somewhere, I can find it with the Magna Helix machine. Um, right now, I have a Jupiter trumpet in here that's, in, that's fairly new. And I've plugged the bell with a, with a stopper. And when I plug this in, it goes down to about a little under three, which is okay, but not for a horn this new. Um, so what do I need to do? I need to find out where the hole is. So could it be in the mouth pipe? It could. There's a, there's a little bit of red rot, but um, sometimes there's other reasons that there's a hole. So check the mouth pipe. So I'll plug the mouth pipe up. Air is coming in here, and I plug it there. Well, drops all the way down to zero. It's not the mouth pipe. Could it be the tuning slide? It could. I've already tested it. It's not that. What I found then was, okay, well, maybe it's in the valves. So, once it regulates back up to just below three, what I did was I thought, okay, well, let me try pushing the valves down. Well, I pushed the first valve down, doesn't change it. Push the second valve down, doesn't change. Push the third valve down, and you'll see the needle just drops all the way down to 0.2. So that shows me that there's a problem in this third valve. So as soon as I let it go back up, there it is. Which means to me, somewhere in this actual piston, there's an issue. And it's, in, and it's probably going to be in the lowest port, because that's the port the air is going through when the valve is up. That's the lowest port. The air is coming in through that port right there, that lowest one, and then when you push the valve down, it goes through that second lowest one. But since I know it's in the lowest one, i got to figure that out. And I did find that there is a slight crack in there. I'm going to show you all this up close so that you can get a little more hands-on view of what's going on. So hang on, I'm going to cut to that. So, this is kind of the close-up version of what the Magna Helix does. So, again, when I turn it on and it's not plugged in, this goes up to 2, 4, 6, 8. That's what those numbers are that are kind of hard to read there. So, if it's at 8, yeah, it's, it's at 8, that shows that there's no seal. As soon as I plug the hole, plug the hose, goes all the way down to zero. It shows a perfect seal. And again, as I tested the instrument, I'll plug it into here. I do still have the plug in the bell, which is why it reads between two and four. It reads right on three. And then, as I said, I tested the main, the mouth pipe. So I plugged that. And you see how, again, it drops all the way to zero. As I tested the valves, drops to zero when I push in the main tuning slide, so that's what you saw there. But then as I tested the valves, one, two, three, you can watch how it goes, doesn't change when I push down the first, doesn't change when I push down the second, huge change when I push down the third. So that showed me that it was in that third piston. And what I'm going to do is, it's really hard to see this, but I will include a picture of this crack. It's right in there. Again, the lowest port. And I found it after some searching, some help too, and I found the crack right in there. So I'm going to take a couple shots and I'll include those with this as well. 
it's a tiny little crack. I'm going to fill it with some solder and then I'm going to test it again and hopefully the horn will come out in that 0.2 to 0.4 range. That's what it should be for a new instrument. So again, 3.0 is what it's testing at. Let's see what it tests at after I've soldered it. So we're back. I got the soldering done. I filled that hole. Check the before and after pictures and you can see a nice close up on those. Um, and now what I've got to do, I put the valve back in and now we got to test it again to see if we no longer have that nasty leak. So again, it was a teeny weeny leak and if you recall, it was about 2.8 or 3.0 in there on the Magna Helic. So again, we turn on the mag goes all the way to 8 because there's no seal. Bell is plugged. Let's find out. Let's find out if what I did worked. Look at that. Look at... Wow. goes all the way down to 0 0.2. I push it down. It popped a little bit because there's air then that goes through the third slide. But now it's gone back down to 0 0.2. And that is all perfectly normal for a brand new horn. Not the 3.0. That was the red flag for me. So now this horn seals a lot better and should play better. So again, Mike Odello from Sarlet's Music in Morris, Minnesota, showing you how a Magna Helic can help us find weird stuff in horns. And this is the after video. After I've got the soldering done, the hole is filled. I've got the pictures in the before and after. And again, when this is not plugged into the horn, it's at an eight. And as soon as I plug it, it goes all the way down. Well, if you'll recall, the horn that I'm test that I'm working on was at a 3.0 or 2.8. So now I've got the bell plugged again, and now I'm going to put this in and let's see where it goes. We wanted it down as low to zero as possible, and this is at a 0.2. So that is an excellently sealed horn and which is what we would expect from a new instrument from a fairly new instrument of this era so um that was how a magna helic can help us find weird cracks in instruments and weird holes and how we can serve our customers better at Sarlet's music in morris minnesota thanks a lot